Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. Today I wanted to wrap up 2023 with 10 reasons why I think everyone should own an Aegis Avenger Titan. When I first started playing Star Wars Citizen, I bought into the cheapest ship I could buy, which happened to be the RSI Aurora MR for $45. It took me exactly a week of flying it around, running delivery missions to realize what a piece of junk it was. Barely any room inside for, the, for my packages and really lousy armament. I had just discovered bounty missions and realized quickly the MR was not up to the task. A little later that week, I found out I could upgrade my MR to an Avenger Titan for only $25. At this point, I was pretty much uh, hooked, so I figured the additional cost was worth it. And boy, I was not wrong about that. Call me an Avenger Titan fanboy, but I always seem to gravitate back to this ship for simple runabout type jobs. But uh, when I was a new player, it filled all sorts of roles and helped me get, uh, get to my next level of earning in Star Citizen, which at that point was Quantanium Mining with a Prospector. You can ask your Star Citizen parents about what Quantanium Mining was like back in 3.16. Those were heady days for sure. And if you're uh, interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. We'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in our next video. I also belong to an awesome org and Discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. If you're looking for people to talk about Star Citizen with, spend time playing the game and learning the ins and outs of Star Citizen, then check us out. The link to the Discord server is also in the description. Alright, let's get started. So reason number one uh, on my list, the Avenger Titan is a very well-priced ship for the new player who has figured out this is the game for them. And like I said earlier, uh, you can upgrade from a cheaper starter ship to the Titan for the difference in cost in real-world money, which is really great. Which is really a great concept uh, Sig came up with. Or if you decide this is the ship uh, for you right off the bat, the starter pack is normally just 70 bucks. In game, you can buy it at New Deal for 785,600 credits, or rent it at cargo offices and traveler rentals. Reason number two it only takes four minutes to claim. If you're willing to cough up 2,000 credits, you can get the Titan back in one and a half minutes. That's not too shabby. Reason number three I love the Avenger Kepler paint that I was able to get with mine. I don't see it currently available, sadly. Um, I know it's nowhere near an exact match, but it reminds me of the Ford GT40. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, reasons 4 and 5. Pretty decent weapon loadout for its price point. The Titan has two size 3 hardpoints and one size 4 hardpoint, and it can accommodate a range of missile configurations from two size 3 missiles to eight size 1 missiles. I didn't get around to uh, upgrading my missiles, but I did change out the stock guns and went with one attrition 4 and two attrition 3 laser repeaters. So no gimbals and instead a one size 4 laser repeater and one and two size 3 laser repeaters. That will put the hurt on if it, if it hits for sure. And it does actually. The Titan is not a particularly tough ship, but I can get through HRTs after only having received a, a fair amount of damage. Which leads us to reason number 6. The Titan has 8 SCU of cargo space. Okay, it's not a lot, I grant you, uh, that. But for when you're uh, when you're first starting out running bounty missions, it's enough room for anything worth taking, and that means it will also fit a two SCU container that you can purchase at any cargo deck for looting uh, during bunker missions. I've also fit a PTV in my Titan for transportation to unfriendly bunkers. In a pinch, you can also run drugs uh, you purchase from one of the drug labs on Lyria or Salen. Speaking of the interior brings us to reason number 8. It is a bed for those times when you'd rather sack out halfway to Crusader instead of making it to Orison and getting to a hangar. Or maybe your thing is to live on your ship. Another great interior quality of the Titan is, uh, is number 9. It has two entrances. You have the spacious rear ramp for easy access to the cargo area. If I need to haul a 2SCU container around with me, well there's your access point. 
What makes the Titan really stand out is the fact that it also has an entrance on the other end of the ship, up by the cockpit, which is single user only, so no worries of anyone sneaking uh, aboard the ship while you're using it. Unlike uh, unlike ships like the Drake Cutlass Black or the Mercury, uh, the Crusader Mercury Star Runner, these ships can only be accessed via ramp. Although the Cuddy does have side doors, they're not very useful. Um, speaking of the cockpit, we get reason number 10, great visibility. With the exception of the control panel, three quarters of the cockpit is completely unobstructed. You ever try looking at the front of a Connie or a Crusader C2 Hercules Starlifter? Yeah, good luck with that. So those are my top 10 reasons why everyone should have an Aegis Avenger Titan in their hangar in 2024. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great new year. Scrap Chat out.